In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the YeediVac Robot Vacuum. Before we get into the video, I just want to let you know that this robot vacuum was sent out to me by Yeedy for my honest review. But rest assured, any thoughts or opinions are strictly my own. This vacuum comes packed with a bunch of features at an affordable price. It comes with 3000 PA suction power, a carpet sensor that will increase the suction power automatically to the max setting when it detects carpet, visual floor mapping technology, 90 minutes of runtime with auto recharging, full app support for starting vacuum jobs, creating vacuum schedules, keep out zones, and much more. And lastly, Google Home and Alexa voice assistant support. While this vacuum is a budget-friendly model, it doesn't mean it always needs to stay that way because this vacuum could be paired up with a self-emptying station as well as a mopping module. Now that we know a little more about the vac, let's check out what comes in the box, see how the app and the integrations work, and finally, see how it performs. As you can see, out of the box, we have the robot vacuum itself, along with the side brush. The roller and the filter are already installed. Then we have an instruction manual, charging dock, and a power adapter. The setup is easy, quick, and straightforward. From start to finish, it'll take you less than five minutes. After installing the Yidi app from the App Store, power on your vacuum by opening the lid and flipping on the power switch. Now start the setup process by selecting the Add Robot option in the app. Doing this will bring up the QR code scanner. Continue the setup by pressing the Wi-Fi button to connect the vacuum to your access point. Now look for your access point and add your network password. Complete the setup by scanning the QR code generated by the app using the vacuum's camera. Getting into the app, it's well laid out and easy to navigate. Everything is clearly labeled, so there's no guesswork involved when looking through maps, starting jobs, adjusting the suction power, or setting schedules. Maybe due to the simplicity of the app, there are some things that need to be improved though. The area in the app that needs a little more development is map management. While virtual boundaries work well to create no-go zones, there are some options that I wish were available. Being able to merge zones would be a great addition for when a room is identified incorrectly as two rooms, as you can see with my studio being listed as room E and F. Virtual walls and creating rooms is absent as well. So if a room isn't detected, there's no way to manually create it. Room labels are limited to pre-configured names and letters, which I find sometimes inconvenient when you're trying to start an area clean using Google Assistant. Lastly, the map is only capable of holding one floor plan. So anytime you run the vacuum on a new floor, it's going to override the previous map that was created. Now keep in mind, these features are currently not available in the app at this present moment, but it can always be added in the future. And if I do notice any updates, I'll be sure to post updates down in the comments. One of my favorite features that never seemed to be included with budget-friendly vacs is the ability to start a cleanup job for a specific room using Google Assistant. With the Yidi Vac, this option is available and works perfectly. Clean the bathroom. Sure, Start starting the skipper in the bathroom. Now let's check out how the vacuum performs. In terms of the general operation, the vacuum operates by cleaning in a linear pattern, going row by row until the job is completed. Getting your floor plan right from the very beginning is important. As I discovered, if it isn't mapped accurately at the time of its initial run, you may have to go back and delete your map and start it again. As running jobs after the original doesn't seem to update the map. So you wanna make sure that the floor is clear of any obstacles to ensure that the vacuum doesn't get caught. Navigation for the most part is smooth. It gets to where it needs to go, but it still bumps into furniture quite often, even after it's learned the floor plan. Being just under 3 inches in height, getting under most furniture wasn't an issue. For the cleaning test, I'm going to be using rice and crushed crackers. I've scattered it around the floor, ensuring that we have debris along the baseboard as well as in the corner. I'll also be running the vacuum at the max power setting.
On the first pass, you can see it did a great job cleaning against the baseboards as well as in the corner but it did miss an entire row of debris. So I'll be running the same cleaning job again, except this time with a double run selected. As you can see by the results, running the job once again, the vacuum went over the previously missed debris and cleaned it all up. For maintenance, the filter can be washed using straight up water and will need at least 24 hours to dry. The app doesn't alert when the dustbin is full, so you will need to check it regularly to ensure that it's not full. Otherwise, the vacuum will leave things behind. Maintaining the brushes as well as the sensors is very important to the operation of the vacuum. Using a dry cloth, clean off the sensors, and for the brushes, remove all the tangled hair and string using the provided blade. Ease of use, affordable price, voice assistant support, and clean floors are some of the things that come to mind when thinking of the Yeti vac. Floor plans, room divisions, and overall map management are things to consider before purchasing this vac. In a more modular floor plan, the vacuum has no issues creating semi-accurate floor plans with room divisions. While on floor plans where entranceways tend to be wider than your average doorway, it wasn't able to accurately map individual rooms and listed everything as one room. This ends up making cleaning jobs much more time consuming as you either need to run a cleaning job on the entire map or you're going to need to create a manual job each time you want to clean a particular room. That being said, if you're interested in purchasing the Yeti Vac along with any of its accessories, all the links will be available down in the description down below. If you liked the video, hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.